Do you have a task that requires you to insert your voice instructions or voice comments to Google Slides? If yes, stay tuned in this video as I will share a method to easily insert your audio recording. This method has proven beneficial to teachers who insert voice instructions to an activity and for students who add answers in audio format. First, go to this web address. You may copy the link flashing on the screen or you can go to the description of this video and copy it there. Next, go to your Chrome address bar. Then paste the copied link. After that, press the Enter key. On the screen that appears, select your age. Read the Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. If you agree, click the Acknowledgement checkbox. Press the Sign In with Google button and choose your email address. The next screen informs us that we are going to give access to Moat. Moat allows the fastest, easiest way to add audio to our Google Slides presentations. All recordings created using Moat will be saved automatically in Google Drive, so we need to give access to it. Since our goal is to easily add our voice instructions, comments, or answers to Google Slides, therefore we also need to give it an access. Select Continue button. The next screen will show that we have successfully signed into Moat. To have a more personalized experience, you may answer these four survey questions. For the first question, I will select for education. For the second question, I will answer computer science. For the third question, I will choose higher education. If you are not a teacher, you can choose the last option. And for the last question, I will enter my school's name. Click the Add to Chrome button to start installing mode to the browser. On the new tab that appears, select the Add to Chrome button. On the pop-up that appears, choose the Add Extension button. Wait for the installation to complete. After a few moments, you will notice that the new tab appeared. It contains a welcome message from the CEO of Moat. Here we can also find information on what we can do using Moat, one of which is bringing voice instructions to Google Slides. At this point, I am going to demonstrate how to add voice instructions to my Google Slides file. If it's the first time to use it, this is what to expect. Here's the Google Slides file, which I will add the voice instructions. Click the Moat icon at the upper right side. On this pop-up window, click the Next button. To use the microphone of your device, click the Allow Microphone button. If this small pop-up window asking for microphone use appears, select Allow. Click the Next button for the next step. A new tab will appear which will ask you to log in again your Google account. If you have given Moat access to Drive and Slides already, just click the Continue button. Let's go back to the Google Slides file. Notice that the pop-up window now shows that we can start recording. If you close this small window, don't worry. Just simply click the Moat icon again for it to appear and for us to begin recording. For example, I will add the voice directions for this activity I created for my students. I will just simply click this button. Think of a scenario in any sector in which the positive or negative impact of information technology is evident. From your scenario, get an excerpt or part of it. Then, document it by doing the following. First, adding a picture to visualize. Second, entering brief explanation in the text box. And third, entering audio for your comprehensive explanation. Once done recording, I can click the play button to listen. If satisfied with the result, click the insert button. The audio file is automatically added to the slide. We can move it anywhere here. Let's say this is the screen of the student who installed Moat in his Chrome browser. He will click the Moat icon, begin recording his answer, 
Here's my comprehensive explanation about the picture added on this template. He can listen to it first. If not okay, he can redo by clicking the trash bin icon. If okay, click the insert button. Then he can move it anywhere on the slide. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions. Thank you!